and ready for battle out of the red corner. From Ricardo Almeida is Ocean County BJ Blast, the still reigning light heavyweight ring of combat champion. How are we feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. You know, just had a tough fight. I, I wish I would have finished him, but I got the decision, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. He was a tough guy. He was strong. Yeah, the hype was real. He was as strong as they said. His uh, his video was bench pressed on 500 pounds. What? And yeah, he's a monster. He's like some kind of extreme power lifter, and uh, he's a very strong guy. You know, definitely the strongest guy that I felt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I definitely felt it in the cage. I think that um, the third round, well, the second round, you actually like really tired him out. In the second round, like you got your jabs in, and then you got him with a couple of rights. And then the third round, like, what was your corner telling you? What, what was your corner you know, saying? unfortunately, I don't think I listened to my corner as well as I should have. You know, I think they wanted me to throw the uppercut more. But right. the second round, even though he was tired, I was pretty tired as well. Yeah. And uh, I feel I got a second win the third round. Yeah. And uh, I, I knew I had him beat. I knew he was he, he was nowhere near as fast as I was. Mm -hmm but he just was throwing some wild punches and I didn't want to get caught with a, a wild punch because he, he was so big and strong. Yeah, he, he's like, he was wild. He's a monster. Like, he's, you he's, couldn't even get your arms all the way no, around he, him. You know, he throws people in all his other mm -hmm. fights. He's like, you know, he's 11 and three, he has a ton of experience in Sambo as well, so. Oh, he's a Sambo guy? Yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, and uh, okay. you know, he, was, he, did, he did very well over in M1. He, got, he made it to the, the finals in the European uh, Championship. So uh, oh. I knew it was going to be my toughest fight and, and the hype was real. He was strong, man, you know, and uh, he came to fight. Mm -hmm. So you probably weren't listening to your corner because you heard Chris Ligori the whole time, who I was sitting next to, who was so loud yeah. and was like deafening. Yeah, I had Chris over there. I had uh, my corner, then I had David's corner that was speaking Russian. And uh, you know, I wanted to listen, and, and I did listen, but you know, I wanted to fire more. But you know, I'm not making excuses. I hurt my Yo. my hand the first round when I when I dropped him. I. Uh, I feel my hand was, I thought I broke it, I, no, I didn't I, break it. But. I heard you say, like, because I, I was right there, I heard you say, I think I broke my hand. Yeah, yeah, my hand was pretty hurt, so I couldn't fire that right hand, but uh, still should have threw the left a little bit more. But where, when was that? In the first round? First punch that I dropped him with. Oh, I, are you serious? Yeah. Because you were still connecting with the right hand, though. Yeah, well, I was forced to, you have to throw it. You know, what am I going to do? You know, I'm not going to stop fighting, but, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, again, I'm thankful to God. I thought I should have finished him. Okay. I had him in some bad spots where I should have capitalized yeah. on, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm thankful that I actually got through a, a war because, you know, I think that's the first fight I was really pushed. I got to yeah. watch it. I don't know how close it was, but, uh, okay. uh you know. It was close, but you, you definitely, I mean, right when the, when the bell rang, we knew that it was yours. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, I felt that I knew I definitely won. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad before I, I go to the next step of the UFC that uh, I had a tough fight. You know, mm -hmm. I was pushed because it made me dig deep, and I, I know I could get through that. So is that your next step? You say that so straightforward. When I go to the next step. You know, I got to talk to my coaches. Uh, I got to see what's next. Maybe the UFC, uh, maybe another fight in the ring of combat. I got to talk to my manager as well, Daniel McGuire, Ricardo Mayer, Mark Henry. And, uh, you know, there's no rush for me. You know, everybody's tough out there. Uh, I'm just thankful to have won. And, right. you know, hopefully I can keep winning and, and just keep training hard and keep improving and keep getting better. Because you have amazing guys that you're training with. I, I, I talked to a couple of your guys today, and, they, they, I mean, everybody did awesome tonight. No, nah, they're unbelievable. And, Drew won, Frankie mm -hmm. Perez won, you know, uh, Ricardo, Mark in your corner. I, I know they won't steer me wrong, you mm -hmm. know, so I'm just going to listen to what they tell me to do. I'll fight anybody they tell me to fight. I don't, I'm, I'm not afraid to fight anybody. But at the same time, I know after this fight, I feel like I need to make some big, big improvements that I okay. thought I made already that I don't think I capitalized the way I should have in this fight. Improvements or adjustments to your game? Like Both. You know, I need to perform. I needed to perform better. You know, I, I feel I had the opportunity to, to finish him a couple times when I didn't. And, and that, uh, that upsets me a little bit, you know, because at the next level of the UFC, you don't always have that opportunity. Right. But uh, I feel I'll rise to the occasion. And, uh, you know, whatever challenge is put in front of me, I think I can conquer it with my, with my team. Mm -hmm. So I also wanted to, um, I actually just met your aunt. And um, I hear, and I'm, very, I'm really, really sorry that you lost your grandfather yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. And that was before a big fight? Yeah, that was the same week of the Sean Salmon fight. My grandfather passed, passed away Monday, so I had to miss his funeral on Thursday because of the weigh-ins. And then I fought Friday, so 
Uh, I was very close to my grandfather. He was a great man, and it was very tough for the whole family. You know, I was literally crying two minutes before I fought Sean Salmon, but uh, he helped me get through it. Such is life. The world doesn't stop for anybody, you know, and I know he would want me to fight, so. So he used to come to all your fights? He came to my one fight. Uh, you know, he was pretty old. Mm -hmm. He saw me knock out uh, Tom Velasquez, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it was tough losing him, but I know he's in a better place. Mm -hmm. And now he's watching. He yeah. gave me that. He gave me some strength against David tonight, for sure. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Tom Glass, light heavyweight, being a combat champion, Christian Brown. Thanks, guys. Team Ricardo, I made it. Thank you, guys. Ocean County Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all my sponsors. Thank you. Now the judges had it. Judge Torelli scored it 29 28. Judge Shamgat 30 to 27. Judge Tamarino 30 to 27. Winner by unanimous decision and still.